everyone, it's Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot and welcome to another tune in timeless message. Yes, it's a, another time for another dramatic entry way. I just had a, guys, I just had a tune in message um, and I just never know what where we're gonna go. If it's gonna be a specific story, if it's gonna be general, you know, I just kind of see where spirit takes me and what messages have to come out. Holy doozy of drama saga i i just read something that was like completely isolating into a female energy it, was, it felt like a karmic and it was just it was pretty dark <laughs> but anyway i decided i'm gonna do another i'm gonna clear out the cards i'm gonna do another tune in to see if there's any other general readings i can get out um general messages because you know i just felt called to do it so i'm doing another timeless one for those of you who are new to this channel welcome if you feel guided go ahead and hit subscribe make sure you hit that bell twice so that you get all notifications um it is a general reading it's not going to resonate with all of you i don't even know what who's going to resonate with the last one i just did but i felt like Here's the thing, guys. It may not be you who I'm reading for, okay? But it could be people in your circle. It could be. So be wary of that, okay? So the stories I might be coming out that feel like stories to you, they may be happening to, you know, friends of yours. It could be exes of yours. The whole shebang, okay? It's like, look at it at that level. You just don't know how energy works and how connected we all are. But... All right, I don't want to take up too much time. Let's get started here, calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages the collective needs to know. We're going to start off with some oracle cards first. Spirit, what's going on with the collective? What do we have here? Okay. All must have prizes, trying to please everyone. Ooh. Feeling this like a little bit of sadness here. This almost feels like people pleasing, but I'm gonna pull one more. Let's pull a shadow card here. Oh, two shadow cards fell out. I'm going to take them. Actually, three did, and I'm going to take them because it's definitely relating all to one another. Downcast pride. Somebody, somebody. I feel like we have somebody who doesn't feel good enough here. Fated to suffer is right next to downcast pride. Sorry for my light ring that's doing craziness here. And then is this me? Wanting to tell the truth. Could be dealing with an air sign here, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But we have somebody here that does not feel good enough detached from a lot of people but also I feel like something happened to this person that is either publicly known or publicly known within their circle people that look they look up to okay but it's somebody may took an offer you see this this is the story that fairy tale story where they're taking the apple and it's poison so it was snow white right snow white somebody took an innocent offer and it turned out to be a bad apple this person um probably got hoodwinked from this individual probably was enticed and thought it was a good opportunity to be with somebody um, but there's some, there's something innocent about this because Snow White is young. So it's a much like a, not a mature level. So somebody who, who is innocent on this, I don't feel victim. I feel innocent. All must have prizes. I feel like this person thought that they were going towards their prize and might've gloated about it and might've been, you know, happy about it. But here's the thing. They could have been happy about this and trying to please this other person who presented them the apple. And we haven't even gotten a tarot spread yet, but this is, we're channeling. Here we go. <laughs> here we go, spirit, here we go. Um, this could be the level of, I'm hearing, um, you know, is this me? Is that this person basically went through a relationship and says, yeah, this is my dream relationship. They're so great. They're so great. And then, you know, they're with this person. They might have moved in with this person. And all of a sudden they're starting to see the true side of this person. And it's not adding up to what they presented to them. 
you know, because you don't see the poison in the apple, you just see an apple until you take a bite of it and then you realize it's, uh, it's that. So until they were really experiencing this person, they didn't see the toxicities. Okay, they didn't see the patterns. So this person, as innocent as they are, and wanting this to be so happy because they have told their friends, they have told their, it feels like something was open or told their person about this relationship, that they are now at the point of like, well, maybe I need to do this, or maybe I need to do that so that it works out. They're trying to make this relationship work out, okay? What's happening is there's, they're losing the authentic, they're, they're losing themselves. That's why they're saying, is this really me? They're pretending. Um, but the truth is, is that this person's really unhappy, but they're afraid to speak up and tell people because they feel invested in this individual. Maybe they moved in with them. Maybe they married this person, but it feels, it does feel relationship based. Um, this feels love related. So let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Where's the deck I was using? Here we go. All right, spirit. Let me get some more input on this story. Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles reversed, and the Emperor, yeah, yeah, and the King of Wands. So many people. There's a lot of people <laughs> in this. There might be some. So could be the energy of two people, like the energy of one. It does feel like you could be dealing with a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this is somebody who's desirable. This is someone who is passionate. I do feel like with the queen of wands and the king of wands here, this is how this relationship looked. It felt that way. There was a lot of passion. Could have been a quick connection. Could have been like, oh my God, they are so hot. They're, these two people are good looking people. So... If you re resonate with one of these, you're a good looking person because these this is two people who take actions towards each other. I mean, they're looking straight at each other. But holy cow, look what's underneath this deck. Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Betrayal and feeling left out in the cold. I do feel like somebody went towards somebody thinking that it was going to be this amazing passionate relationship and it's turning out to be betrayal feeling backstabbed feeling loss on the um feeling a loss also feeling financial loss now the queen of wands with the queen of swords next to us this is kind of like somebody coming through and saying okay what is this Needing to speak up, talk, I mean, because the Queen of Swords is wanting the truth. Cuts out the bullshit. You don't come to her unless you offer her the truth. She wants, she wants the, wants the authentic truth. And it's weird that it's facing the Nine of Pentacles reversed. It's a loss. The Nine of Pentacles is independent. Somebody who can take care of themselves. And then we have the emperor here who's also staring at this nine of pentacles going, yeah. Now the emperor always gets stuff done, but they can be manipulative and controlling, right? This is a codependent relationship. Somebody thought they were going towards something that was going to bring them stability, was going to bring them happiness. And the truth of the matter is we have another person who's extremely controlling and manipulative um, and the abundance isn't there. It's not. There's something where somebody lied about some kind of abundance that they were bringing to the table or not, but they don't really have it there because they're facing it. Look at, look at the shifty eyes of this Aries looking at over this. Like, yeah, I'm well aware that that's not working out. We might even have somebody who's become you know, took the, took the offer and is now codependent on this individual and it turns out they're extremely controlling. And it's like, no, this is how we have to do things. You know, they're the ones who's taking care of all the bills, but like there's a huge loss here of some sort. I feel like it's a loss of independence. I feel like this person almost feels trapped. Like they just went into this relationship and they feel completely trapped and they want to talk about it, have the desire to tell the truth. I don't feel like it's two individuals. Like this could be the energy of um, whoever's, whoever is feeling like they went towards somebody um, 
that they're afraid to speak up to, but all of a sudden trying to speak up to this emperor, you know, like here's the truth of the matter is I don't have anything. I don't feel like I can leave this relationship. That's what I'm hearing. I don't feel like I can leave this relationship. I feel very controlled. I feel trapped. I feel backstabbed. There's a loss here. It, I keep hearing a loss of freedom. Yeah, on the Queen of Wands, we have the Page of Cups wanting to get the hell out of there. Look, the Page of Cups is usually an emotional offer. The fish is usually in the cup. The fish is going back in the ocean. <laughs> it's just like... And that's what's validating this Queen of Wands. The desire and everything is to get the hell out of there. Take their emotions away from this individual. Um, they, th This is not what they signed up for. Not what they wanted. What's this Queen of Swords about? Something unexpected. The tower energy here. This person who I was connecting with who feels very sad, the people pleaser, they may be finally speaking up, up to this individual who presented them this apple. They may be speaking up. And that could be the tower moment. Is speaking up, saying, you know what, I don't give an F what anybody thinks anymore. But we're going to validate that. But let's see first what this Nine of Pentacles is. Because I feel like somebody is going to... Are you kidding me? Nine of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords. Looking back at a relationship. This person is sneaky, deceitful. Could have been siphoning money from an individual. Could have been like combining money, thinking, hey, if we combine our money, we can get something together. And this whole time they've been siphoning from you. This person is sneaky as all hell, but they're also putting you feeling in a stuck position because you got that noose there. And once you become hung up, you're in the hangman position. They want you to feel stuck. They want you to be dependent on them. This emperor, and the emperor's usually on charge and on like get stuff done, but I feel like this emperor, let's validate what this emperor is, but I'm feeling this energy of someone who's extremely controlling to the point that doesn't allow this person to even make a fucking decision. Like literally I feel like they are the point of contact in everything for this person's life. Meaning anyone who wants to talk to them has to go through them. This sounds crazy, but like sometimes relationships like get that way, you know, where, you know, like everything's joint, like they don't have anything separate. Um, and I'm not saying joint is bad, but like this feels like somebody who would like, even do their social media page or make a social media page and say, this is what we're posting. This is how controlling it feels. And that person might be looking at the profile that this person created and going, is this even freaking me? I don't, that's not, I don't even, like I'm, like they might be posting how happy they are when in the truth of the matter is they're not freaking happy at all. Is this me? Like they're just like completely Eight of Swords validating this Emperor. So this Eight of Swords is like, oh, I'll take you out of your anxiety. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Wants you to be codependent on them. Shit. Let's get more on this Emperor. What's this Emperor about? What are they trying to get? Okay. They're trying to get the Ten of Pentacles. What else? Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles is what this this Emperor energy is after. All about working and taking care of things. There's no love here. I don't feel any cup energy. The only cup energy I feel is for the person who feels like they got played and was innocent. And is like, what the hell did I just sign up for? What's this, what's this abundance about? Why is, why does this, why does this emperor want all of this abundance? Of course we all want abundance, but this feels like, like major control because that's him, that's happy family. That's feeling safe. That's feeling control. So this person feels if they can control everything, if they can control all this, if they can get all this, um, that's what's going to bring them happiness. This person cares nothing about this because usually this is a presenting an offer of self-love, loving, but what makes them happy is money. Money makes this person happy. Um, just taking care of stability and all that. So 
whatever was siphoned out of, out of this person who thought it was going to be more of an emotional connection, it's not that. They just want the money. They just want the money. They just wanted the money. Some of you, I mean, they, they literally, that's what they took the relationship for. They saw the money in you. I'm sorry for those of you that it, that is. That's horrible. And let's see what this Page of Cups about is with this Queen of Wands who desired this at one point. Conflict. Seven of Wands. There's more fire energy. I feel like... Um, I feel like they're ready to fight. They're ready to stand up, especially with that Queen of Swords energy in this tower here. But I feel like they feel like there's they're going to be going through a whole battle because this person has really created somebody to be basically a false profile of what this person is. And so this person has to break through all of it, right? Like the lies, the bullshit. What's this tower about? What's this tower about? Interesting. And what else? So we have the tower, which was hangman feeling stuck, needing that person. Again, here, I'll come and offer this to you when really they were just trying to make you feel stuck. This is the seat that they were handing you. They were pretending that they had something more that they could offer when it's all you, all they had really was you to offer. Um, Two of Swords is usually a crossroads again. It's feeling stuck, indecisive. I feel like it's because you have the Queen of Swords here. The Queen of Swords is not indecisive. So the, the, the tower is going to be the speaking up, the communication. We do have somebody here who is going to be speaking up to this emperor. And let's see, because I mean, this is about betrayal and feeling loss. So let's see what the outcome is on this because I'm curious now and I'm nosy. I'll be honest, I'm nosy. What is the outcome of this? The Fool. New beginning, new start. This feels like a separation though. I feel like The Fool is we have somebody here who's going to be letting go and taking a risk. It's gonna be hard though. They're not like, you know, this queen of swords energy who comes out of here, this person who's so used to being the people pleaser. Um, this is uncomfortable for them, okay? So they are nervous nervous taking a big leap of faith because they lost a lot of money in this, okay? But here's the thing. When you follow your heart and speak up and you are your authentic self, the universe will present this individual with what they deserve, which is some kind of commitment or some kind of stability here. So there's going to be an opportunity to gain their fi finances back, okay? G gain their something tangible. I mean, this is tangible going towards... But it's taking the risk of ending this because this is going to be not just, I don't feel like it's going to be a, a clean cut from this individual, okay? This person's going to use everything to keep this person feeling stuck, okay? So I do feel like they're going to try to keep that person stuck at all costs. Let's see. Let's see, though. Uh, I'm going to pull in some Love Oracle cards here. So what about the one who took the offer? Who took the apple? Who took that apple. What's going on with them? What are their emotions, their feelings? Not feeling good enough, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, jealousy. You know, I just feel like this emperor talks highly of themselves, is egotistical, coming up as narcissistic. But let's see, what are their feelings? How are they coming up? Soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. This could be a karmic contract again. But they're definitely soulmates. Like I said, you are soulmates because um, you have the two matching suits. So this was definitely divinely made, probably to teach lessons to both parties. What else? Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. I do feel like... You know, and just because it says girl talk, I do feel like we're going to have somebody here that is going to rely heavily on their friends to help them uh, or pep talk them to get through the situation. It does feel like the, when I was drawing on the energy, it was the one who seemed a little bit more innocent. And what's going to happen here with this uh, what additional messages do we have on this emperor? Lightning. 
sudden change, shocking news, surprise, upheaval, transformation. This is going to knock this individual down. It's going to knock them down. Their ego is going to be... Because I don't feel like this person ever... No one ever says no to them. So when this person gets no to them, they are, they're going to feel knocked down and defeated. And there's a reason that they have to go through this because that controlling attitude is something to do with inner child. So this person is very manipulative and narcissistic. So this is going to be a, a wake up call to them as well, because I do feel like somebody is going to get out of this um, and speak the truth and speak the truth that this is not what they signed up for. All right, guys, if this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to join us at Harmonia Friends in Facebook. If you want to empower your life, if you want to, if you were a reader or a light worker or healer, I really encourage you to come on over to the group. I do pick um, Spotlight Harmonites and, uh, you know, we, got, we go live there. We share a lot. It's great. It's an intimate group. Come join us. All right. Take care, guys.